what's up everybody, Jay Styles, all things Styles. Had a few shirts to press, so I figured, hey, turn the camera on and talk to you guys about past how transfers in the process. But before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Active Sub Nation. If you guys are on Facebook and are into Sub Nation, you guys should check out the group. It's dope. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I'm also dope. Anyway, so like I said, this video is going to be about heat transfers, uh, plus light transfers to be exact. And if you're familiar with screen printing, it's going to be the same concept except for you're going to have the application applied directly to paper and you're going to release it with your heat press. This is going to be a great way to control your inventory if you're starting out, um, whether it's a clothing brand and you don't want to be committed to such a large quantity of garments that are already created, you can just buy blanks stock your heat transfers and then press them almost like a print on demand as needed so you can go with custom transfers you also can go with stock transfers and if you're starting a business it's not a bad option also if you're not familiar with the press that I use it's going to be a heat press nation signature series auto open clamshell 15 by 15 the best feature hands down is going to be the sliding drawer right there pardon me kind of lost in my thought okay so with any press whether it be screen transfers um, HTV sublimation etc you always want to give your garment a pre-press this is going to eliminate all the moisture that's left in the garment all right so my particular transfer calls for 305 at 7 seconds but before I do that lint brush you always want to remove any type of lint or debris from your garment before you press Also, three fingers down from the collar. Firm pressure. It's going to be a hot peel. Finished garment. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been Jay Styles. Appreciate you. Till next time.